So today's video, uh, I'm going to show you guys some vocal production techniques that I use when I'm recording a song, whether it be singing or rapping or whatever it is. Um, I'm going to show you guys the best way to record your vocals to really make your vocals pop and to not sound so stagnant and boring and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you the techniques that I use, which I was taught from industry professionals, Grammy award winning artists. I'm basically going to do smooth criminal to this beat right here. So I'm using GarageBand. GarageBand works wonders for me. It's very simple. And, you know, if you know how to work it right, you can make your stuff sound really professional. So I, I basically just input a compressed vocal. This is going to be the lead vocal right here. And then this is going to be the vocal that I duplicate. So I put the track in there. Um, I got the lead vocal and then the other vocal duplicated from those same settings. I'm going to call stacked vocals one. And then I'm going to duplicate this one three times so we have four vocals one two three four now i'm going to show you what we're going to do with that a little bit later but for right now um i'm just going to record uh, so i'm starting with the lead vocal i'm going to make sure this is turned down when i record i always pull one ear off I, it doesn't really matter what headphones i use but i want to be sure that i can hear myself because if you record with both ears on even the best singers sound terrible when they record with both ears on like you have to be able to hear yourself hear what your voice is doing yeah it feels like you're doing the right thing but you might think like you're singing like celine dion or or something like that but then in real life reality it's like Whoa! we want to make sure this is in the right key because we are going to use a little bit of pitch correction we're not going to use like full-on auto-tune but what i do when i record my vocals is i don't want to sound like a robot i don't want to sound like travis scott or kanye west you I mean sometimes like stylistically that's a good choice to have but when you're just like a regular singer and you don't want to sound like all these other artists but you still want to have like premium sounding vocals what i do garage band comes with a free like auto-tuning feature uh, make sure the song is in the right key so you have to have a bit of knowledge because if you don't then it's going to sound ridiculous so this key let's do the tuner here mm, c sharp so we'll switch this to c sharp if i'm not mistaken so you want to make sure that in GarageBand or if you're using any other program make sure you set the the uh key that you're going to be tuning it to to the right key that the song is in so this is in c sharp uh you click this little uh scissor right here and you go down to where it says pitch correction you want to limit to key and you want to turn this up maybe to like just to start off let's turn it up to like 60 percent with that being said uh let's go ahead and do this take that count off as he came into the window, was the sound of a crescendo. He came into her apartment, he left the blood stains on the carpet. She ran underneath the table, he could see she was a neighbor. So she ran into the bedroom, she was struck down, it was her doom. Now, that's not the best take, but for demonstration's sake, we're just gonna go with it. Um, now, here's the part where it gets interesting, because this is the main thing that I wanted to show people when they're uh, making songs. So obviously, you guys know how to record like one vocal, a lead vocal. But uh, when it gets into like parts that you want to have accents or harmonies or anything that requires like oomph to a track and like harmonies and, and like a ch chorus sounding feel, what you want to do is you want to stack your vocals. So in this case, um, I'm going to do the lean. Uh, so it's going to be any. Are you OK? Are you OK? Are you OK? Okay, Annie. But instead of just one vocal, I'm going to do four. And the reason why you want to do this is because it sounds, it's going to add an impact. It's going to sound uh, more full. You want to kind of build up into the chorus. So that's what we're going to do right now. So this is just, there's not going to be any harmonies on this part. It's just going to be one part, one note, um, you know, one melody. But we're going to do four different recordings. Whatever program you're using, um, find the pan. What pan is, is basically uh, if you drag it to the left, that means it's going to come out more of the left speaker or left uh, headphones. If you want to go to the right, that means it's going to come out more from the right headphone or the right speaker. So in this case, we're going to do 100% to the left and then 50% to the left. In GarageBand's case, this is uh, 60 
and 30. For the other two, we're going to do 100% to the right and then 50% to the right. And what that does is when you record all together, instead of it just sounding like one voice is coming at you just from right here, it's going to be sounding like there's all or it's kind of like you're doing your own surround sound effect. And the reason why you record four different times is because you want there to be the slightest, tiniest variations. Each time you're not going to sing the vocals exactly the same. And that is the key. You don't want to just copy and paste this vocal on all of these vocal tracks. You want to record each part separately, the exact same part. So I'm going to show you what that sounds like. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Annie? It was her doom. So Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? And then here, uh, so she ran to one. the bedroom. She was struck down. It was her doom. So Annie, are you okay? Uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this because it's obviously going to repeat. So what you'll notice already as I go through these, if you look at this bottom uh part right here, the vocals are slightly different boom 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 they each have their own characteristic and that is what you want you don't want to copy and paste this and have it four different times because basically if you're going to do that you might as well just put it all on one track it's going to sound exactly the same so here's here's what it sounds like if you just copied and pasted the the exact same vocal four times and and had the panning and everything so Annie, are you okay are you okay are you okay Annie? It sounds like it's just one voice singing. You know what I mean? It sounds like it's just one person. Versus if you sing individually. So Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but there is a huge difference. Like the other one is more it's more in your face and it sounds like it's just one person singing. Versus the other one, it, since all of those have uh, their own slight variation, it sounds like different people are singing. So Annie, are you okay? sounds terrible i don't like that blank spot right there so i'm just gonna add like a little accent and i know a lot of rappers do this um but singers should be doing it too okay. if that's your style Are you okay, Annie? Annie, Annie. all right so here we go Annie. Okay. Okay, let's let's attempt to do this chorus here. I'm gonna add in like some some Michael Jackson Pharrell flares. This this kind of stuff I'm not gonna really teach right now, but I'm just showing you guys like basically basically I just wanted to show you guys the best way to record uh, harmonies and melodies. Maybe that's what I'll call this video. This is the best way to record harmonies and melodies and vocals. Period. Um, for any song that you're recording, if you really want to make your vocals pop, um, and you want it to sound like full and dynamic, you got to do the stacking. Okay, so just 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 we're gonna we're gonna go through this real quick just to just to see what we got so far. As he came into the window, was the sound of a crescendo. He came into her apartment, he left the blood stains on the carpet. She ran underneath the table, he could see she was a neighbor. So she ran into the bedroom, she was struck down, it was her doom. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Annie? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Annie? 
Just say.